let us talk about this 24,000-year-old creature. Okay, this is uh, this is cool. I just I found this today. Scientists discovered an incredible little creature that just survived 24,000 years in permafrost. Now it didn't live for 24,000 years, although technically it was alive that whole time. It was frozen. Okay, whether or not you would consider that being alive, obviously they survived it. So I guess yeah, I guess it was 24,000 years old. When thinking about extremely hardy creatures, the famous tardigrade will probably come to mind for most of you the water bears. Scientists, however, determined that there is a new sheriff in town, namely the bet betaloid rotifer. Rotifer. Betaloid rotifers are microscopic multicellular animals known for their toughness, capable of withstanding starvation, freezing temperatures, and low oxygen levels. They are even exceptionally resistant to damage from ionizing radiation as a result of the same DNA preserving adaptations they use to endure dormancy. Amazingly enough, scientists recently discovered that it can not just survive freezing temperatures, it can do so for at least 24,000 years. And here it is. It kind of looks like a very mini tapeworm, right? I'm also kind of like a very, very minuscule platypus face worm right all right i don't know but here's a picture of it it's basically a little mini tapeworm that's that's what i skip from it right so for twenty four thousand years they bide their time in the siberian permafrost until an international team of researchers discovered them then after being successfully thawed they started crawling again as if nothing happened but little did they know, they just demonstrated an incredible feat that knocked the scientists out of their socks. It says off their socks, but that's that's not correct. It's it, knock your socks off. So off their socks, that doesn't... That knocked the scientists out of their socks. Knocked their, the scientists' socks off, right? <laughs> I got I got it. Anyway, the researchers published their finding in the science journal Cell... According to Stas Malavan, one of the lead authors, their research provides the most compelling evidence that multicellular animals can be capable of withstanding tens of thousands of years in cryobiosis, the state of almost entirely arrested metabolism. It is remarkable that multicellular animal can survive such prolonged freezing. When frozen, the cells of most animals are irreparably damaged due to expanding ice crystals. Some animals can withstand frostbite in the state of cryobiosis or suspended animation, where their metabolism comes to a complete standstill. Once the temperature rises again, they can resume life. The researchers used a drilling rig in some of the most remote Arctic locations in Siberia to obtain permafrost samples that were then dethawed in the soil cryologically uh, cry cryology lab at the Institute of Physiochemical and Biological Problems in Soil Science in Pushinko, Russia. And in fact, I have um, a little article that I found about the, the animals that can in fact do that as well that we've known for for a while and they're frogs and it is the woodland what, wood frog is it the wood frog uh yes the wood frog lithobates siv silvaticus these remarkable local amphibians are able to withstand the freeze thaw cycle of our midwest winters baffling biologists for years this tiny frog is, is able to freeze up to 60 percent of its body they don't breathe their heart stops their blood doesn't even flow. But you want to know why they're able to survive it? Because of their pee. I'm not joking. It's because of their pee. Uh, scientists in the University of Ohio, uh, Miami University of Ohio discovered that urea from wood frogs' urine is able to be recycled throughout their body during the wood frog's hibernation cryoprotectants inside the frog's body act like antifreeze, preventing ice crystals from forming inside their cells by lowering the body's freezing point, keeping their cells and tissues from freezing and bursting. Cool. That's right. They cycle pee through their body. But shout out to the uh, new sheriff in town. What is it? The Beltaloid Rotifers. They are the, the kings. They beat out the tardigrades in lasting for over 24,000 excuse me 24,000 years 
it's amazing.